بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ان اور پریویس لیکچر وی ڈسکس دیٹ ہاؤ ٹو ڈرائیو میتھمیٹیکلی دا آئی ایس اینڈ ایل ایم کر اینڈ فائنلی وی ڈسکس اباؤٹ دی اکلیبرم آف آئی ایس اینڈ ایل ایم کر میتھمیٹیکلی سو ان اور ٹوڈے لیکچر وی ول ٹیک سم نمیریکل ویلیوز اینڈ ٹرائی ٹو فائنڈ دی اکلیبرم انٹرسٹ ریٹ اینڈ وی ول فائنڈ دی اکلیبرم ویلیو فار انکم and consumption so uh, let's start as we have the following values c equals to 100 plus 0.8 yd here the 100 is for autonomous consumption which we have to make either we have something or not either our income is zero so this is the autonomous part of the consumption and this is the mpc uh, which is changing with the change in income and it is positive relationship as it is a positive sign when income in disposable income increases consumption also increases as it is the independent variable income and the consumption is the dependent variable when income increases consumption increases and how much change is occur in consumption due to change in income it is 0.8 okay now i equals to investment investment equals to 50 minus 25 i this is the autonomous investment which we have to make and not by looking at the interest rate we, uh, we have to make this investment uh, whatever the interest rate is uh, is it and it is the in induced investment which is negatively related with the interest rate when interest rate increases investment and uh, decreases as it has negative sign here the interest rate is the independent variable and the investment is the dependent variable for this model and g for government spending and t equals to tax revenue for the government they both are equal so this side uh, so these values are for the is equation and this is the money supply and the real money supply equals to 200 and the real money demand equals to y minus 25 i so uh, what uh, what we have to find uh, from these uh, values we have to find the is and lm curve or the is and lm equation then we have to find income and the equilibrium income and the equilibrium interest rate so as we discuss in the mathematical derivation of the is curve uh, we write y equals to c plus i plus g here uh, for c we put the value of c which is 100 plus 0.8 yd uh, so we write it as uh, here and i equal investment equals to 50 minus 25 i so we write the value of investment 50 minus 25 i plus g which equals to 50 so we write the value of g here uh, and in the next step uh, we add or uh, subtract the numerical values 100 plus 50 plus 50 uh, which will become 200 and as we know that yd which is for disposable income and disposable income equals to yd equals to y minus t so we write the formula for disposable income yd equals to y minus t and 100 plus 50 plus 50 will become 200 and y 0.8 y minus t for t uh, we will write the value for t which we uh, which is given uh, in the question so we will write uh, the 50 for t and uh, here the 20 minus 25 i so in the next step we uh, will multiply this 0 0.8 uh, with these two elements 0 0.8 y and 0 0.8 with 50 when we multiply 0 0.8 with 50 it will become 40 now uh, we subtract minus 40 from 200 200 minus 40 will become 160 uh, and the remaining element uh, are as it is 0.8 y and minus 25 y now uh, we will bring this 0.8 y to the left side of, uh, left hand side of the equation uh, so when we uh, take this 0.8 y to the left side of the equation it will become negative as it has positive sign on the right side of the equation so from these two values, uh, these two have uh, one common uh, variable which is y. 
so we take uh, y as common when we take y common from here the remaining thing is 1 and when we take uh, y from here common and the remaining thing is 0 0.8 on the right hand side the thing has been changed so when we subtract 1 minus 0 0.8 uh, the remaining value will be 0 0.2 so we are interested uh, to separate uh, this 0 0.2 from y so 0 0.2 y is multiplying with this y so when we bring this y 0 0.2 to the right hand side of the equation it will divide it with these two values okay when we do divide 160 with 0 0.2 the answer will be 800 and when we divide 25 with 0 0.2 it will become 125i so this is the is equation 800 is the intercept for is curve and this is the slope for the is curve so now uh, we will uh, discuss about the money market equilibrium as we know that the money market equilibrium exists where money demand equals to money supply so uh, we have the value for money demand which is y minus 25y so we will write the money demand value here and the money supply is uh, 200 so we will write the value of money supply here uh, so uh, from here we also interested uh, to separate this y from uh, this value so we will uh, take this minus 25 to the right hand side of the equation and y equals to 200 plus 25 by this is the uh, LM equation we can uh, also solve it for uh, obtaining i as we are done in the mathematical derivation uh, for the LM curve uh, so now uh, in the next step uh, we uh, we will take is equals to LM here on is we write the is equation and for lm uh, we write the lm equation which we have derived here so after doing some uh, mathematical uh, derivation uh, the remain the interest rate uh, on equals to 4 which is equals to 4 percent so if we want to find the numerical values for income so this is the equilibrium interest rate we will get that equilibrium interest rate by equating is equals to lm so this is the equilibrium interest rate so this is the is equation y equals to 800 minus 125i which we uh, get uh, earlier so uh, here uh, i for i we put the value for i which is 4 125 times 4 equals to 500 800 minus 500 equals to 300 so now, you, so now we verify that whether our answer is correct or not uh, we will put this uh, interest rate into the LM equation this also must be 300 uh, for the correction of the question so y equals to 200 minus plus 250 uh, 25y which is the LM equation so uh, for i we put the value of i which is 4 25 times 4 equals to 100 200 plus 100 equals to 300 so this tell us that our question is correct as both in the is and the lm the income is 300 as we have to find the equilibrium income and the equilibrium interest rate so the equilibrium interest rate is 4 and the equilibrium income is 300 we also can uh, we also uh, can find the value of consumption uh, what, what is the equation of consumption 100 plus 0.8 yd so 100 plus 0.8 yd uh, yd equals to y minus t so we write it as y minus t so we have the value for y which is 300 and we have the value for t which is 50 so we will so we will put the values of y minus t 300 minus 50 and the remaining answer will be 250 then we multiply 250 with this 0 0.8 which will in result give us 200 so 200 plus 100 equals to 300 so consumption also equals to 300 and we also can check that whether all this whole answer is correct or not by uh, putting all the values here why we have the value of y equals to 300 we have consumption equals to 300 government uh, for g value equals to 50 and we can find the value of i 50 minus 25 i i equals to 4 when we multiply 25 with 4 it will become 100 
and 50 minus 100 equals to 50 minus 50 so when we uh, will put all these values in this equation c equals to 300 i equals to minus 50 and g equals to plus 50 so then uh, minus 50 will cancel out with this plus 50 so the remaining is 300 and on the left side left hand side of the equation we also have 300 so 300 equals to 300 so you can counter check uh, your question by putting uh, this the all these three value in the uh, main equation i hope that you can understand uh, this uh, question uh, if you have any uh, query regarding our today lecture you can ask me